If you go onto YouTube and search for Sprint Car Crash compilations, you're almost guaranteed to either see this clip or this one. At first glance, the first clip may look a bit scary. I mean, he flew over the fence for f**k's sakes. The driver, Austin Williams, is seen walking with a limp, but fortunately only suffered sore knees from the incident. However, the second clip is a whole different story, resulting in the retirement of Marcus Niemela. Growing up in the country of Finland, Marcus began his racing career in the early 90s, racing go-karts for around a decade, claiming multiple titles, including the 1998 Finnish Junior Karting Championship. In 2001, following a snowboarding incident leaving Marcus with an injured left arm, he missed out on competing in the Formula A European Championship, but made up for that, winning the one race he competed in that season practically with one arm. Just a year later, Marcus claimed the 2002 Formula A Championship and also qualified for the World Cup Final, but fell victim to mechanical issues. In 2003, Marcus suffered yet again another injury, leaving him missing a good portion of the season but finishing off strong, placing 5th in the World Championships. 2004 is when Marcus jumped into full-size race cars, competing with the Finnish, Swedish, and Nordic Formula 4 championships, where he actually claimed both the Finnish and Swedish titles, and was also the runner-up for the Nordic title. He moved over to Germany in 2005 for the Formula BMW 8 series, claiming one victory, earning himself the 7th spot in points, then went on to compete in a race with the Formula Renault 2.0 UK Winter Series. Fortunately, he would perform well, and would earn himself a full-time ride with the UK series for 2006. Skip to 2008, after not having much success in finding a ride for a second year with the GP2 series, Marcus moved out to the United States for the Atlantic Championship. In just his rookie season, Marcus claimed two victories along with a handful of top 5 and 10 finishes, winning the series by 17 points. He stayed with the series the following year, but was unsuccessful in defending his title. 2010 is when Marcus began racing non-wing sprints, competing in hand-selected events mainly on the West Coast through the last five years of his career. It only took him about a year to claim his first ever sprint car win, supposedly becoming the first ever European to win a main event in a sprint car. Marcus In 2012, Marcus competed in a race with a NASCAR Pro Series, now named the ARCA Series, in Roseville, California, finishing in 15th place. This wasn't the only thing that Marcus tried out that season, as he had competed in his first ever Chili Bowl earlier that year, but didn't qualify for the main event. Now, in the 2013 Chili Bowl, Marcus performed pretty well, winning Wednesday's first A feature qualifier, with Tony Stewart trailing behind him. He was able to secure a spot for Saturday's feature, where he ended off the night with an impressive 11th place finish. The year of 2014 marks a very dark time period for the sport of sprint car racing. The whole nation had their eyes on the sport, but not for a good reason, and of course the main point of this video. On November 6, 2014, Marcus was qualifying for the 360 Oval Nationals. All was going well, until... After witnessing the crash, you'll notice that Marcus's roll cage had collapsed, trapping him in the car. But luckily he was conscious and was able to communicate with the safety crew. Marcus was taken to a nearby hospital and was released later that night with what was believed to be just a mild concussion. The footage of the incident spread like wildfire, even catching the attention of Fox Sports, as they did a whole article on this incident. Many racing fans showed their gratitude for Marcus's health, as everyone believed at the time that he was A-OK. -okay. But unfortunately, this good news would be short-lived. It was later revealed by Marcus that he had sustained severe brain injuries from the incident and had no other choice than to retire. Now, injuries weren't anything new to Marcus, he actually had quite a bit of injuries in his career, but nothing to this extent. 
According to the top comment of the video, Marcus suffers from neuralgia, a condition that causes severe pain in the nerves, along with problems like memory issues that will affect them for the rest of his life. This incident has sparked debate among fans with many arguing that this could have been prevented and others simply saying that you just can't prevent things like this. I mean, the speed he was going mixed with the multiple impacts he took, I don't really think there's any way you can. This comment on Reddit sums it up perfectly. There are risks you have to accept when you get in a race car, especially something as wild as a non-wing sprint. I have been to that track many times and those cars enter the turn at over 100 miles per hour. Then he started spinning very fast and both the spin and speed stopped nearly instantly. I don't care if his neck was a solid rod, just the brain moving around in the skull from that type of incident would likely cause damage. This crash has become one of the most infamous accidents in recent memory because of its unfortunate outcome. Now, even though this has affected his life completely, he has never let this bring him down. In 2016, Marcus made a post on his Instagram going over the two-year anniversary of the crash, how he's been, and pretty much just having a positive attitude about it. He was fairly active on Instagram up until early 2020, so it's unknown how he's been doing recently, but judging by his post, it seems that he's enjoying life. He's been quite successful ever since his retirement from racing, being the founder and CEO of Rush Factory, an event management company based in his hometown of Rauma, Finland. This incident remains as an example of how unpredictable motorsports can be, and that it doesn't matter how much money, talent, or intelligence you have, your life can drastically change in the span of a second. Names like Kevin Swindell, Brad Doty, Travis Roots, Marcus Niemela, and many more who have went through adversity all have have their own stories. In a world without perfection, things like this will unfortunately always happen, but no matter what happens to the driver, they will always have the community on their side. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You may notice that my name is no longer under Sprint Car Nation, and the reason for that is, well, I've been wanting to change it for a while now, but never really got to it until now. And don't worry, there's not going to be any changes to my content, I'm still going to be posting the same stuff as I usually do, just under Sly Job Dom. But with that being said, for the final time, this is Sprint Carnation, and I'll see you guys next time.